time ahead of schedule. So we'll try to do this. That's been done a thousand times. It's what I have time for today. You focus. Focus. We are in a 2012 Nissan NV2500 4 liter. It's got about 115,000 on the clock. Um, they have, let's see, what have they done? Uh, I think they put a mass airflow in it and then put the original mass airflow back in. Clean stuff changed. I don't know, filter. Um, they changed a bunch of stuff already. And then they called me. The light was out for a while, then it came back. Um, I did. Uh, let's see where I'm at. Hold on, let's go back into here for a second. P0101 on the Nissans. Canada's in the house. Um, let me go back for a second and show you what I'm looking at. Come on, back. Back. To Nissan, it's got a 101. First thing we do is check the TSBs because almost every one of them needs it. Except for this one. But I'll tell you how I got there. That is my ECU part number. When you update it, that last part changes. This almost always stays the same. 23710. If we go into Nissan. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Come on. There goes my phone going off. We got a Nissan. Mr. Diaz. We have a Nissan with a PO 101. Um, if we go. I don't want to go here. Is this thing updating? Let's get back to the home screen for a second. Oh, it's hot in here too. I shut the AC off. And the window don't work. That's great. So I'm going to sweat in here for you guys. Let's go to blind programming, reprogramming. This is on the Nissan Tech Info site. If you guys are looking to do this, definitely go check out Keith Perkins. Uh, website subscribe to his website he does it's a whole I don't know four or five hours on this stuff so he's the guy me I'm just regurgitating information and this is how I did this I'm just one of those this is how I got into where I am right now we're gonna do a 23 7 10 I got called in my first step only because from experience PO 101 on Nissan's have an update so let's I usually have an update so let's check it right and I actually was pretty confident that I was doing APJ. Hey, I was gonna be doing an update, so I went ahead and I got the Kardak hooked up. I jumped the gun because he said I'm definitely doing an update. Sorry, phone's still going off while I'm trying to do this. I don't know if my connection is slow, but we're waiting. We're waiting. Come on, focus. This is the boring part. Sorry. Come on. There we go. Thank you. This box will pop up. You put in the last couple digits. That one P. Ed, one Peter Edward. One boy. One Peter Edward. And it will start to generate. Hey, Bill. It'll start to generate codes that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, configurations that are already known. One. Here's my problem. A, C, I have a B, not a, oh, I have a B. So guess what happens? I go over here, focus, B. And we get nothing. So according to this, and I checked this four different ways, this is the update, which kind of has me perplexed because there is a C programming, so I would assume it would have updated me to here. But it's not. So I even went. There's another way you can go in here. You can search for TSB. I did it that way. And it didn't come up either. So I have to, at this point, I have to assume it has the latest software in it. So my next step. Let's assume that it does. Because it looks like it does. I want to see mass airflow in. Uh, I want to see mass airflow data. Come on. Let's go all. This is a four liter, so what should we see? Non turbo. You should see about four grams a second. Mass airflow. 
we're going to change that from pounds to grams. We are going to graph it. We are going to change this. We could get on a better scale, four to five. That blows that up. And now we get a really good look at it. Now, other than the fact it's a little bit high, it's reading four four. I don't know if I'm terribly concerned about that yet. I do have a new one. I suggested since you already have it, put it back in. They put the new one in, they put the old one back in. Put the new one back in and see if that number comes down. But here's my bigger concern. Let's get out. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. There's Euro Trash. We're not working on that one right now. Okay. There's the mass airflow, there's the box. I think part of the problem with Nissans is they put the mass airflow so close to the box. I think if that mass airflow was further down there, we would see less of these problems. Uh, I believe the term here is laminar flow. Whenever you see the boxes with the, with the, with the baffles on them and the crazy little add-on boxes like that, that's done for airflow. It's not there for decoration. Trust me, they wouldn't spend the money if they didn't absolutely have to. They want to see airflow hitting the mass airflow at a predetermined whatever you want to call it if you disturb the airflow you disturb the reading going across the mass airflow if i can get this in here without dropping it i'm gonna have to leave it right there no nope, the glare is horrible how about here a little better okay things like if i pop these clips open this is all i gotta do pop the clips and watch the all I'm doing is doing is I'm just lifting this up a little bit. You get that. That is expected on these cars. Not compensated for, but it's expected. So if you ever see these the clips are missing, you go, well, there's one clip, we're good. No, you're not good. Put both clips on. Um, I'm going to show you something here. Let's, right, let's jump around all by itself. All I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab this box and I'm going to rock it just a little bit. And that's what happens. Along with the fact that this has a somewhat bad motor mount on this side, so as soon as they get in, they put it in drive, this thing rocks a little bit, you get a little bit of, this is what I'm doing. And that could be enough to throw to 101. This is all, I'm, not, I'm not pulling on it hard. I can tell you there's supposed to be a clip in here that's missing. Oh, I can't even see it, my camera's still right here. It's supposed to be a clip that holds this. That would hold this a little tighter and stop that from doing that and secondly there's an aftermarket filter in here and with Nissan's I recommend OE filter uh, there is a difference if you grab the OE filter in an aftermarket the OE filters don't tend to do this they're a little more rigid framed and here things like this as simple as that is that will cause that hey look there's no way I felt but look what happens it counts on the air filter it counts on the airflow coming through the filter to stabilize that. So literally, like we ran it. And that's why after the uh, those cone filters, I don't want to mention brand names, but the, you know the wetted, whether it be wet or dry filter, those cone filters will set that same code for the same reason because it doesn't control the airflow the way the manufacturer wants to see it. Um, even though I'm going to slip this back in, and I even did it before. I went to snap this back in and missed it just a little bit. I didn't hook it back real well, and it did that and I had a look again one of these back ones doesn't snap in too well and this is what happens when you get the the new guys I want to say new guys because I just did it a few minutes ago but you get the new guys that are real quick to do an oil change throw an air filter and it snap the clips on and go okay I'm done but they miss the hook in the back and it will screw that up I don't even know if I got it. I gotta get my hand in here to see oh I missed it again all right I'm gonna have to put the phone down and get it because that's what happens as soon as I rock it, it only needs a little air leak. If this case is warped, sometimes the hold down bolts will break, they'll crack, and they'll let air into the bottom. Um, so if everybody thinks the the problem is, you know, we don't we're not concerned with air on this side. We're only concerned with air leaking on that side. We are concerned with air on this side of the box, right? So that's that. This is our issue. We have to secure that. We have to put a better air filter in here. We have to make sure there's no, I told him to take this box out, make sure there's no cracks. And um, and I'm out of here. That's it. I got, uh, this is number four or five today. I got about another four more. 
Uh, my phone's going off like crazy. That's it, guys. Ten minutes. That's my limit. I gotta run. Talk to you guys later.